I want to get some screenshots and post them. Are you do that today? Yep, I'm doing that today. Right after this, even. Okay. We'll do that later. Go ahead. I'm good. So, uh, you rolling or not? Are you? Mm hmm. Oh. Over the course of about one week, I've updated Jeremy's house to the point where it's almost totally redone. It's highly enhanced and many other things. Like, the road here is traffic on it. There's several roads going out into the distance. These lines here fade. Because after all, if you look down a lot, yeah, you can't even see the lines there anymore. Cars just constantly drifting along. Of course, the hills have been totally redone. There's now air taxis drifting along in the sky constantly. This is just my test level. And when I get to the point where I can actually make levels, that'll be a different subject. There's a truck there. Here's an extra life. Of course, normally sound effects and stuff will occur, but uh, I don't have any audio or any sound effects right now. I just like using bounce. Of course, I was rather late there. You can actually use the platforms as a way to boost your jumping power. Springs do the same. Gliding. Just watch those hills. Here's where I really go up. You can easily see the perspective effects with all those hills. Although the ground between is a lot more visible. And of course, if you look way out into the distance, although just barely, you can actually see the ocean and farm fields in there too. And there's an air taxi zipping by right here. Those are air taxis. Basically a cross between a city bus and uh airplane. Love bounce so much. So much speed. Nice shot. Now to really show you the super high areas, I need to go up. A lot up. This platform is an elevator platform. Here you can easily see the farm fields. The ocean way out here, you can see the difference in the coastline, it's varied. You can see ponds and small forests along with these farm fields. The flashing effect is caused from the uh, gravel roads fading in every now and then and the lack of exact pixel precision. Fractions, you know, do cause some problems. There's a city over here. There's actually a highway over here, complete with interchanges, and, or at least an on-ramp to get onto the eastbound or westbound lane. No, yeah, it is eastbound. Yep, so high up, and you're just right above the clouds here. It's real easy to see just how extreme things are. Pause the game. Use that platform to propel me up so high, so far. This way, this is almost like viewing outside of an airline or something. It is four miles up right there. At that very moment, it's four miles high. 144,000 coordinate units on this camera dot Y variable. But yep, gliding along so nice and peacefully. Constantly picking up speed if this is any hint. Clouds just constantly drifting along. And of course, once I get enough speed, you'll easily be able to see the 3D effects. And I mean easily. That's on the horizontal too, by the way. And some of the beaches over here are a little thicker than usual. Like right over here, it's very thick. There's a really vast expanse of sand there. So that one's easy to see. 
there's a city here that's probably the kind of city that might have like 2,000 residents in it or something not much but still all these clouds just drifting along can you start can you see the 3d effects now of course with still more speed it'll be a lot easier to see you might be wondering what some of these dat details are along the screen of course this isn't all of them because there's also supposed to be a height here a boss HP one here and air meter over here as well but lives is how many lives you have pretty much a video game standard Time normally would be counting down, but in this case, since I don't have levels function or anything, this is the speed of an airline, in case you're wondering. Roughly the speed of an airline. Uh, then, of course, uh, when the time runs out, you lose a life, and it's back to the start platform. There are no checkpoints in this game, but the levels are so short that there's really no point in checkpoints. Sure, the jumbo and supersized levels are giant sized but they're actually completely optional you don't have to do them to advance the story but there are rewards for getting them treasures and for one example score well there's plenty of uses for that 20 million points you know you get an extra life but there's other uses for it but that's currently classified here's the speed of sound I just broke the speed of sound there but speed generally doesn't have too much use but although there are some cases where it could be used max speed just look at the perspective effects now here now it's so much easier to see but yeah there are some uses for speed there's also a height in here too that I have intended on there's variations for that this is the current level you're on world one level one although this is just a simulation at the moment HP is basically your health and that's well 20 is what you start with but this can easily get off into the 10,000s but that's gonna take a long time to get you might be wondering on the score here, why is there so much space over here? Well, the score can be huge. I'm not exaggerating. Huge. Okay, do you know what a quintillion is? Okay, so if you don't know what a quintillion is, think of what one billion times one billion is. Yeah, that probably got your attention. Now take one billion times one billion times nine and two ninths. And that's very close to what the maximum possible score is. Guess how long that's going to take to get? An almost humanly incomprehensible 500 years. That's right, years. Centuries, even. Five centuries. That's a huge amount of time. And that's based on the fastest possible scoring that I'm aware of. It's just out of control. Speed, that can go way into the millions, but uh, getting that's going to take tens of thousands of years. I have no idea. HP max is at nearly one billion, even though I'm normally expecting about a thousand or so. Yeah. Time, well, that one's kind of, I think this one's otherwise fixed, but it's something like two or three thousand is the maximum for that. Lives, you can have four billion yeah big numbers again although the lives will probably be one of the first you could max out but yeah that really gives you a good idea on the extremes you can get in this game height well this height is barely even a start as to what you can get to I haven't even started basically sure it took all that effort and speed just to get up there in a very unusual circumstance but nope add another 50 digits on there or something I'm not, although I'm not entirely sure I'd have to look at my coding but I think it's actually that same 9 and 2 ninths quintillion and of course it gives you the idea the maximum amount of air you could have if I actually had that in right now that's you can be underwater almost live underwater with how much air you could have which is just truly insane when you think about it boss HP well, that's pretty much standard that's fixed in the game and that's pretty much all the changes I've made to Jeremy's house. You can easily see how the perspective effects are constantly changing as they just zip by 800 mile an hour. Of course, as a ball, well, you really, really accelerate. The, this is my debug panel that I actively use to hunt for bugs and test various things. Like here I'm testing positions of various objects. See how the perspective effect worked on those clouds there? Isn't that amazing?
here you can see him kind of squishing in much like Jumping Flash 2 it's a lot like it in a way except so much more advanced using my own algorithms and stuff purely 2D at that yeah that's right this game is purely 2D there isn't a single 3D drawing element involved it seems so 3D though but that's because of the way I use parallax scrolling this game takes parallax scrolling to an extreme no one has really ever seen before. Ever seen a track what roads look like 800 mile an hour? Well this is what it looks like. Cars just zip by like there's nothing there. The houses zip by like there's nothing there. It, it's just going by in a blur. Although you can tell the speed with these hills, but it, these houses, they're just going by in a blur with wagon wheel effect thrown in every now and then. The cars blink and you'll miss them. The lines look static, but that's because of the wagon wheel effect. One of my favorite effects. The air taxis are going in reverse. <laughs> yeah, but that's because I've got so much more horizontal speed relative to them. Super high up again, and of course, then you can easily see the 3D effects of the clouds again there. And the farm fields, although rather limited. And there's one of those things going in reverse. Yep some point or another there will be another air taxi they're widely spaced yep there's that the jerking motion is because of the uh, I don't have vertical sync and I don't know how to get that in yet yep there's another air taxi going in reverse It's because I'm going so much faster than that but that's pretty much what they can do in just one week of time and that's just in one week, by the way, is basically assuming 40 hours of gameplay, or not 40 hours, uh, 70 hours of actually working on it. Yeah, 70 hours, 10 hours a day or something, even 12, 14, you know, really adds up. Yeah, braking with all that speed. Cars just zipping by still, like there's nothing there. I just saw a cop car going by. I just correct for the jittering effect by using the uh, Z button on my keyboard. It's the only way I can, can correct it. It just slightly adjusts the timing. That's all that does. It's very, very slight, but it does add up. You know, this is 40 mile an hour. I'm actually speeding in a way still for a residential area. But yeah, if you're familiar with these kinds of speeds, you of course, I could get a lot, lot faster. Typical freeway kind of speed is 70 mile an hour. Not very much there, at least. Of course, uh, I can still get faster yet. Much, much faster. That'd be. This would be the kinds of speed you'd find in car chases. Still relatively slow. Those don't seem to be changing all that much. Of course, uh, race cars. Oh, there's another cop car that just went by. This would be the kind of speed you'd almost see with race cars on TV. Yep, and that's pretty much a good idea on the various speeds here. That, but yep, everything is exactly the scale. Exactly. Of course, this is a dead stop. Of course, now it looks like the car is just staying there. But that's because I'm matching its speed. Yep, that's what 24 mile an hour is really like. Of course, a super jump like that, you know, it's a different subject. very very neatly in perspective all completely to scale it's just amazing how I've actually been able to do that uh, 
and 14 minutes roughly. Of course, every now and then I post things on YouTube. Six. It's barely an hour in, and I've already got a hundred views. Yeah, I'm replying to all these. Do you always reply to comments? Almost always, although not all of them. There's one guy asked a question, so I checked the comment removed. Should be eight. Eight. One hundred views already. What do you know? Okay. Well, now uh, let's see. This I can close. That I'm not sure on yet. This is temporary. Oop. Don't need that. But I will still need that. Taken or no, I don't have any screenshots taken. I, I held on it, so held back on it, so you can get it on for the documentary. Yeah. So, you, so that way users know what's going on behind the scenes. Yeah. So, uh, go run. Start the process. Yep, I just wanted to reply to those comments. Okay, let well, me you know. Go for it. Uh, let's see. And this code here is otherwise fine. It's just basic routines that I use. <sighs> uh, actually, I should get the Platform Masters website up. might want the about page then if you want a close up. You want to see any, any of the other sections of the site? Whatever you want. Yeah. Oh yeah, you just hit the website. This is, that was all over by US. This is Platform Masters right here. Yeah. This is something different.
Let me know when you're good. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let's see what's a good one. Worlds. Of course, these need to be updated. Okay. Probably get one more. Okay. One more what? One more view. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Thinking early history type screenshots showing when I first got it. Because this would be a good lead in in a way, wouldn't you think? Oh, because it's like the very first things you designed? Yeah. <laughs> glitched clouds. <laughs> so you can easily see that April 26, 2009, very close to when I started working on this. I think it was three days before. How much percent finished would you say you're done with the entire game? Uh, about 50%. Yeah. get this one too or not because mm -hmm. yeah. these are the most recent of all the screenshots of course I would like to scroll up a little bit okay there's that Now I'm going to get the part where I do the screenshots, actually grab them, save them, and so forth. Of course, I want to set this up in a way. This is just setup stuff. something there that way it'll automatically go to that without revealing any of the classified stuff unless of course the program goes into that infinite loop but I hope not okay you ready now mm -hmm. let me know when you're yeah I'm ready oh. my platform masters websites whenever I can see that Whenever I'm working on my platform, not the website, get that right. Whenever I'm working on platform masters and I reach certain milestones or re encounter certain things that are worth noting, I often take screenshots and record videos, posting U videos on YouTube and posting the screenshots at my platform masters dedicated website, platformmasters.com, and well. This is basically how I do it. First, I play my game like any other case, and I otherwise get some screenshots. However, I look for good kind of setups for doing this. 
Like, I want a cop car in the scene, so I'm gonna try to go for a cop car. Of course, I'm already speeding, but still. It's a ways over here. I want one of the foreground ones to be it. Any moment, there should be a cop car coming in. Ready to pause the game any moment. It's not a cop car, it's a regular one. Sometimes it can be a bit before I grab the screenshots. Nope, another regular one. Minivan. Another sedan. There's the cop car. That should be an interesting screenshot. So, what I do is I hit print screen. Okay. Check my taskbar, and I don't have paint open, so open up paint. Put this screenshot in the corner like this. This is how I crop it. I don't use GIMP because GIMP is not very dependable for doing that. Because if it fails the import or something, then I can never get that clipboard item back. So I use MS Paint. It's more reliable, and it's also about just as fast. Uh, let's see. This is the annoying thing about MS Paint is you always have to sort through the folders and stuff. Go to the very end where my most recent screenshot was and fill it in. Except change the number up to one more and make sure it is a bitmap. Open that or make a new image. Now I reopen it. That way it'll force the folder to be the same. Yeah, I do have to come up with quirks. Now, I come up with another screenshot. Of course, I forgot to close that like I usually do. Okay, now I want to get a view from a little bit higher up. Get at least a car into the view. Hmm. Nope, I don't want that. Okay, that would be a good one, I'd say. You can also see a cop car back there, too, as a bonus. Of course, I like cop cars. They're nice. The usual routine for cropping them. Always make sure there's two pixels of that over here, because that's what I set the padding to. The game is exclusively run at 1024 by 768. There's no way to change it. That's that Malik problem again. Plus, I also don't want to give those with the 1920 by 1440 kind of resolution an unfair advantage. Because otherwise, they'd see so much more of the level because of it. Nothing can scale. It's one of the, another limitation of 2D. So, third screenshot. I went a little bit higher yet. Of course, I need to go play through this a little more. The jitter in this case doesn't matter. <laughs> Pair of cop cars, what do you know? That's interesting. Whoa, going too fast. I'm gonna get the air taxi in the view as much as I can. Of course, I don't want the gaps in there. So, sometimes if things don't go right, Close it, restart, and repeat. I need to be there about that same time. Try 
jumping at 19, see what happens. There's a good view. 46 is so close, so that's a bullseye. I'll take that easy. Although sometimes right after I get a screenshot, I like playing around a little bit. Watching the ground grow. So, save that. Okay, there's that. One thing I also sometimes like doing is getting a close-in view of this so I can look at how the scene actually looks much in more detail. See all those houses, oh my goodness. Okay, and let's see, get a screenshot from close to the clouds. get close but not too close I'm gonna go over where that line of platform or steps pyramid steps or platform steps or something whatever they're called I want to get close to the clouds but not too close sense in the perspective effects very well or at least a lot better okay I would say that'd be pretty good for all those farm fields and stuff watch the speed just zipping by standard routine here. There's an air taxi there. There's what, nothing closer? Huh. Okay. Of course I realized it didn't save. So And the last screenshot, play it again. Now I gotta wait a bit, because I want to view from quite a ways above the clouds. So that way I can get that shoreline and stuff easily visible. Yeah, this one will take quite a while. see any seams on these farm fields. Okay, I don't know about that city. Well, the Westers call it. Yep, I would have to say that is a good screenshot. Except 
I want to look more closely. Hmm, doesn't seem too bad. Although I could probably use a little more height. We'll get that one cloud out of the way. Hmm. At least you could see this real nice. Nah, I'm rejecting that. I want to get another one. Or try it again. Upset easy. Long wait. Just watch those air taxis just going by. This is so far down below. It's getting pretty close. Let's see what direction I want to go. Lots to the right. Basically get something from the YouTube kind of view from that video I just posted not too long ago. Now I've got a long glide again. to get it so that I don't have clouds obscuring anything. Of course I got too much height. Let's see, where's a good shot to get this? Some clouds slowly drifting away. kind of a clearing there. <laughs> Max the speed. What is in that area there anyway? That's where that highway dives a little to the south. Nice. 
now I've otherwise lost it. So I gotta wait for another loop back. Okay, that's a good one. See if I can improve it any. What does that look like up close? Hmm. That's pretty neat. Okay. One sixty eight. That's the last of those screenshots that I'm otherwise after intend or intending on getting. So what I need to do now is I need to save all of these as a JPEG image. To make sure it's in that screenshots folder. There are some parameters that I do set though. Notice how if I Okay, in this example, look at the grass here. Okay, I'm going to hide that away. There is a change here, and look at the house here. It's kind of color distorted. Yeah. If you look at this... Yeah. Yeah. Close the door, would you? Because you're provoking them. hearing some strange sounds. Oh well. Oh, that's sister. Yeah. Look at the grass here and look at this house among some of the other rest of the scenery. Now, with the show preview, look what effect that has on them. The green gets slightly darker, the, the hues and the like are kind of lost. So, to fix that, I have to use this. Okay. Now look. I can't tell a difference. Now if I reduce the quality some, I still practically can't even tell a difference. So, 80 is what my standard is. And in addition, I change this to floating point because it ever so slightly improves on this. Although I don't exactly know what this DCT thing even is, or anything like that. But all, the, the, all these other ones I just leave alone. So, now I do a thumbnail. Uh, but wasn't there a save thumbnail or something like to go with it? Well, this is because I do my own thumbnails. I basically cut the image size in half, in this case, and I append thumb to the file name. Of course here it's a little easier to see the distortions. Yeah, there is a safe thumbnail, but I don't use it. 
But yeah, you can you can see some of the distortions, but not very well. There are times where I do use PNG though, but that's usually screenshots of my computer, the entire computer. Or in this case, I'd scale the screenshots to 640 by 480, which is one third of my resolution. Yeah, I view it as super high, 1920 by 1440 original resolution, even higher than HD. However, it does come with a disadvantage. Well, the uh, the next higher resolution available is 2048, then 2560 by 1600. However, the LCD equivalent, $500. Yeah, I paid only 150 for this monitor, and I get higher resolution than it than those LCDs. That's why I still use a CRT. But anyway. This process, all the settings are otherwise saved and repeated, so I can just repeatedly process these screenshots all in the same way. Except what I usually do, of course, since I've actually forgotten it. Uh, let's see here. Don't have WordPad up. So I open this up and go to where my Platform Masters website is stored. Uh, find it. And I go to the last of my history pages. And pretty much just copy, do some copy paste, use another half gallon of that stuff. Copy paste. A special kind of paste that makes copies of things. Caution, not a, not cheap. <laughs> and of course here I just set up a template. This way I can quickly copy and paste everything. Let's see, today is July 24. Always keep those BRs. That's for break row, in case you're wondering. Of course, then I do have that YouTube video I need to get posted in here. Centus Mountains. I actually got two of them to do. Might as well add those in while I'm thinking about it. Except that means I got to reference another page I can. Grab a template if I can find one. Yep, right here. Okay, grab that template, put it in here. Of course, this was recorded before these screenshots, so I'd make sure I keep that order. And uh, for this, let's see, I need to reference my YouTube channel. Right click on something. Copy link location. Paste that. All I need is this part here after the V equals. And go to the very end of here where it says embed. And I just replace whatever is there into there. It's basically the system used for that, so it's really quick to do. Of course, I always make sure there's a horizontal rule. Of course, there's that video done now. And all the videos that are on the the history are actually half size for the game. And of course, uh, I also have a full size, true size version available at the game's natural resolution. Uh, let's see. So with this template otherwise set up, now all I gotta do is just duplicate it. And uh, let's see, it got up to 168, wasn't it? So I just copy and paste it as needed. And I just change all these standard parameters like the screenshot ID numbers. Uh, why am I using five twice? I might have missed. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, and that's basically all of those. Then of course there is another YouTube video. I might as well get that while I'm thinking about it. Uh, see that? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, and now the platform. No, not that. Need YouTube again? Right click, copy link location. Grab just that part again. It's way over at the end, and replace. Okay, that's all that. File save. And since I was jumping ahead of myself, of which is one thing I tend to do quite often, I'm going back to that first screenshot I processed. Of course, I'll just use the bitmap image. And as I do that, I look at the screenshot, think of a description that suits it very well. It's silence anyway, so you can silence that out. I mean, editing anyway. hidden uh, more like well hidden I'd have to say
done in minus story scenes. Forgot to include that. These houses. Okay, that's the end of the description on that screenshot, as far as I can tell, because the other parts of the scene are going to be described in other ones. So, that one's done. Yeah, let's see. I'm going to open up this one. screenshot. So I copy it and paste it over. I never use cut because it's unreliable. all I could make use out of on this one. Okay, and since 166 has not been processed, I'm otherwise going to be processing this one now. Same way, same thing as before. This one involves the hills and the air taxis. Is that 166? Yeah, I think it is. So it was on 167 for some reason. Okay. feet is what in meter or actually it's based on 4096 